Let's check out Thrivecart Learn, possibly your new solution for hosting your digital membership websites and delivering digital products. So let's go ahead, jump in. And the first thing we'll look at is what our customers and members will see once they've actually completed the checkout process, which is the same as everything else with Thrivecart. So the only difference here is where people are logging in. So I'll go ahead and click on an example that I have queued up here. And so once someone clicks into their course, you'll see that you can add text as usual. You can embed videos. And then if we come over here, you can also have buttons, something that Teachable didn't allow us to do, which was really annoying. So I actually, this is one of my favorite things. I know it's not silly, but I'm really happy that I can put a giant button here. And so we'll go through how the back end looks and how easy it is to put this together because they use the same page builder as they do with Thrive Cart. So uh, it was uh, relatively easy to get up and running because we've been using Thrive Cart for a while. Now, the other thing I want to point out here is you can choose whether or not someone can see courses that they haven't purchased yet. So as an example, if let's say in this demo account, I haven't purchased the campaign builder, you can still have that show up. And so people can click on it and learn more. Of course, don't go too crazy with this because it's really easy. If someone buys like a $4 product, they don't need to see every single other product under the sun, right? So if I were to click on sales funnel organizer here, this is an example of a digital product where we just have one page, there's a download link and a couple of directions on how to actually access it via Google Drive. So I think this is going to work great for just one-off digital products as well. It definitely doesn't have to be a full-blown membership website or course. So that is a quick, quick rundown of what you see up front. You do not have any control over the formatting of this page. So right now you can't change your courses, you can't change the bar at the top, and then you'll want this to be 1400 by 1000 for the dimensions. I'm sure there is some official documentation coming out, but that's how we went ahead and created these thumbnails where you could actually see things and things were relatively cropped correctly. So let's jump into the back end. So in the back end, you can actually group your different products and courses together by projects. So I just have one project right now. And then you can go ahead and create a course. Although I recommend only creating a course one or two times and I'll show you why. Then for your bundles, you can easily create new bundles and add products to new bundles. So something I really like here is if you create a bundle and you create a new product, you can actually add that product to a bundle and everyone who already purchased that bundle will have access to it. Now that's a Thrive Learn Plus feature. <laughs> so if you just want to go with the basic learn, you won't have bundles and you won't have the My Team options. I do recommend upgrading whatever that pricing is. I'll just leave the pricing out of here because they're constantly split testing their pricing. So <laughs> the pricing might be different because I'm recording this right after a launch. So the other advantage of going with Learn Plus before we get into the page building is you can have a set up a team member. So if I click on create new user here and go to app permissions, you can see that we have a lot of options when it comes to what people can and cannot do. And this is something that was a real big headache for us on Teachable because we would have people on our team who just needed access to one part, but then we'd have to give them ac admin access to a bunch of other things just so they could do their one task. So I really like the fact that you can add up to, I think it's five, uh, administ administrators or assistants so that it's really easy for other people on your team to actually go through and help you with managing your site, which you do want help with. So let's jump into one of these courses so you can see how they are actually put together. So I'll go ahead and click on edit here and you can create different modules, which are these sections right here, which you can name whatever you want. And then you can add different lessons to them. Now, one of the reasons I recommended earlier that you go through this process once is because it's very easy to clone and duplicate things. So for example, I went ahead and went through formatting introduction, and then I can just go ahead and click on clone and click and drag it to whatever new module that I want. And so let's go ahead and dive into the actual editing. So when it comes to some of the Learn Plus features, 
Uh, just wanna keep pointing that out. You can actually drip content. You have a tremendous amount of control and you can also create tags for students. So if you click on all students here, you can actually create specific tags so that if you're running some sort of bonus, promotion, or discount, or you know JV thing, you'll be able to add tags in here and it'll be very easy to customize what people see. So you can get overly detailed. I definitely don't like being that complex. I just, if you bought the course, you get everything. But if you want to be able to offer special things to different parts of your audience or list, this is something that will allow you to do that relatively easily. So let's get into the actual page building, which if you've used Thrive, anything inside of Thrive Cart is going to look incredibly familiar. So over on the left-hand side, we have the different elements here, pretty much everything that you need. I think the only thing that I would ask for them to add would be tabs, because I really like it when you go to something like Skillshare that's advertised everywhere on YouTube, and right underneath the video, you have the different tabs that you can click through for the content, as opposed to having to scroll down everywhere. But I guess that's just me because a lot of people don't seem to really care but i do think you have everything that you need over here on the side and then with the course options you can go ahead and customize pretty much all the colors that you see here and something to note with the navigation is even though it shows up on every single module edit page it is universal so if i were to change the color here to let's say this bright blue it would change it for the entire course right so uh, just keep that in mind as you go through it's very similar to thinkific or teachable where the navigation is the same throughout the entire course you're not going to have these color bars changing every single time someone clicks through a different area so as you can see here there's inline text editing the actual color changes of these are a little wonky so sometimes if you're trying to paste in a new color, the uh, color won't actually appear and you have to go on the left-hand side and edit it. And I'm just bringing that up because there are a few little bugs here, but for the most part, everything's working like it should. Like this feels like a polished software, not something that came out three or four days ago. And then when it comes to your actual video content, you will need to use something like what I recommend Vimeo or YouTube or Wistia for some reason to go ahead and embed your video content. So that's part of what keeps the cost so low is because they're not charging you for the hosting of the video, which is the majority of the cost on some of those other platforms, right? So you just drop in your Vimeo embed code here and you're good to go. Of course, you have some options as well. I really like the fact that you can have three videos in a row or just two side by side. Um, something that was a little annoying. That way you don't have just this long laundry list of videos if you have more than one video for a module. So I'll go ahead and click on publish here, even though we didn't actually do anything. And we'll jump over to course options where you'll be able to add your course title, a quick little description, and then of course some other corpse op course corpse, oh no, <laughs> course <laughs> options as well. So we'll go ahead and click on cancel here and exit without saving, or no, I'm not finished. You do need to hit save and exit to make sure that everything has been saved and it updates pretty much instantaneously. So that is a quick overview of Thrive Cart Learn or Thrive Learn. I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to call it, but I'm just going to keep saying Thrive Cart Learn. So go ahead and drop any questions or concerns about this software in the comment section. I do read and reply to every single one. And I have spent hours on hours playing with all of these courses and I am recording this just an hour before we tr test out a full funnel using only Thrive products, which is why we have a couple in here. So make sure you subscribe because we will have real world data. So thank you so much for watching. Comment below with any of your questions or concerns. Hit that like button. And until the next, keep building the business you love.